6. A North Valley mother is in mourning tonight after her 8-year-old daughter died in a crash while coming back home from a trip to Yosemite. And thanks for joining us tonight. Good evening, I'm Warren Armstrong. And I'm Margo Kim. The little girl was one of two people who died in that crash, which also sent a number of others to the hospital. It happened at Green Sands Avenue and Buhack Road in Atwater over the weekend. Action News reporter Brianna Willis spoke to the girl's grieving mother and shares where the investigation is so far. In this story, you'll see only on Action News. Here in Atwater, this memorial is now growing with candles and flowers for the two people who died in a crash. One of those people is an eight-year-old girl. Her mom says they were only two minutes away from home when the crash happened, and now she has to do something she never imagined and bury her only child. I love you, Kalani, and I'm going to think about you every single day. And though I want you to be here, and maybe you're supposed to be you know, helping somebody else. But I'm never going to forget you. Ruby Roy says she's not only injured physically with broken bones, but she's also heartbroken after her daughter, Kalani Roy, died in a crash early Saturday morning. Me and my friend were both hospitalized. Uh, my friend and her, my friend's brother and my daughter were, were uh, they had passed on though. You can still see police tape tire marks and broken glass at Green Sands Avenue and Buhack Road where it happened. Atwater police say a white Acura sedan and a silver Toyota Corolla collided, but they're still working to learn more about the crash. We're trying to determine cause. Uh, we're trying to determine who the responsible parties are. We're trying to determine whether alcohol is involved. Roy says they were coming back from Yosemite, their last trip before Kalani started school. And now she's doing the unthinkable. She's really hard because, you know, um, she was eight years old. She just turned eight and she had a lot of life to live. She says Kalani loved being with her family and did anything she put her mind to. There was nothing that, that stopped her for, like, from doing anything. And adds to know Kalani was to love Kalani. She was joyful. I think um, anybody that got a chance to meet her always enjoyed her presence. She was very sweet, caring. While her support is like no other, Roy says she wishes her daughter was still here. Why well, she had to go so soon, because honestly, she's helped me through a lot of hard times. She's helped me through so many hard times and she doesn't even know it. The investigation into the crash is still ongoing and police say as of right now, they have not made any arrests. If you would like to donate to the GoFundMe, we have that link on our website, abc30.com. In Atwater, Brianna Willis, ABC 30 Action News.